Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Marston, the ZimTech guy. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to work with green screen in iMovie. But before we get into that, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do eventually end up liking the video, please hit that thumbs up button. So uh, right here, I've got some, um, these two clips, I downloaded them from Pexos. I'll leave a link to where you can download them as well if you want to work along with this. All right, so before we get into it, right, one thing when you're working with green screen, make sure that your green screen is well lit as well as your subject. It will save you a lot of trouble in the future. So with that in mind, so we have these two clips. Um, what I want to do now is uh, let me just drag this background here. This is just a background of... Um, popsicles just moving on the screen right okay um now let's drag the other clip okay before we drag this clip if i highlight this clip if i just click on it if you come here you see uh there's no overlay options you can only get those when there's another uh video clip on top so um yeah let's do that let's just drag the clip of the model okay just drag it to the start and uh, all right see if we can just drag and reduce the size sorry Let's just drag and reduce the size of this clip to match the duration of our background all right okay now if we come here to the beginning let's play it this is just a, a model who's just dancing but if I come in, uh, highlight this click, you see here that now there's now this option to overlay. This one is called video overlay settings. So let's just click on it and you see the options that will come. Uh, here under this drop down, just click on it and come to where it says green slash blue screen. Click there. When you do that, automatically you can see that uh, the green has disappeared but now if you can see there's this uh uh it's it's not a perfect key by the way because of the lighting so that means we need uh to work a bit on this so how you can save yourself some stress uh here when it comes to softness we can increase the softness of the key let's see what happens if you drag it right okay if we drag it to the left you can see the artifacting is actually getting worse right here but if you drag it to the right um it becomes better all right now one way of, of doing it as well is just just come here where it says under cleanup just click on this uh crop tool since the model is not moving that much we can just drag and make sure that we crop to the part that we that we want to work with that will get rid of um that will get rid of more let's just play this back let's see sorry let me just come back let's play it okay as you can see it's actually much better but if you look closely there's um it's like the model is transparent we might have pushed the softness a bit far so let's just highlight on it again click here it says overlay let's see if we can reduce that softness maybe up to up to here and just let's try to play it back okay all right that's much better but already you can see there's still um this uh right here there's this white stuff happening here let's see if we can uh actually get rid of that as well if you come here uh and click on this tool here this is basically an eraser tool you see click on it as you can see now we have uh, a better key let's just play that back just to so that i can show you how it's looking now I just come to the beginning sorry let me just drag the playhead drag it to the beginning and play so basically that's it guys this is how you work with green screen in imovie if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up see you in the next video